Hello everyone, this video we will look at how to install Home Assistant mobile phone application because before we have used the website on the PC software with the web browser and this time we will look at how to use the mobile phone application on the Android phone and the iPhone, iOS that you need to configuration in Home Assistant that changes uh, this file configuration.yaml file because the default config have already in integrate the mobile phone application as that deferred config or you can use this sentence uh, just mobile phone discover and I think this is enough but just if you use iPhone use iOS application you, I just use add to this iOS uh, this sentence so that you can use four functions of home assistant just like this Space, space, iOS, like this, so that your iPhone can use the notification, message function, and some advantage, advantage functions. The Android phone not need to add this sentence. So, this video I will show you how to use an uh, Android phone, but the iPhone is simply as thin as the uh, Android phone. So we can say go on, and the application download about the Android phone. You can go to the Google Play Store. You can see you can download from the Home Assistant and also you can download from the GitHub and if you use the iOS iPhone you can search the Home Assistant directly in your Apple Store so this video we will look at how to install by the Google Play so this is my mobile phone I can click uh, this is Google Play and we can input the Home Assistant for search and you can see uh, this is the application now I can press the install button now I'm just uh, waiting for the install online and make sure let your Raspberry Pi or let your KC868 server is working is start up so that you can see the PC the home assistant is running and after the mobile phone application install complete okay we can click open and this is home assistant uh, web uh, home page and press continue and this is detect auto detect the home assistant in the raspberry pi the raspberry pi's ip address you can see my root uh, we can detect the home assistant on this ip address this is everything as the mobile phone have detected so we can press uh, this item and go on and this is username and password you have created on Home Assistant we can import like uh, Kinkone and login and this you can enable your location track so that uh, you can see your mobile phone position on, on your Home Assistant and this is device name of the mobile phone and we can click OK and auto and auto and this is device name we can choose choose to my phone so that will be easy to find my home my phone and press finish and press ok and this is the first window of the Home Assistant application. You can see this information as seen as your uh, PC's web browser. So that the Home Assistant application just based on the website. And this is install complete. It's very easy. You can see the weather forecast and the many information as seen as your PC. And go on. We can see as there are many information we can set on the mobile phone. You can see I can click uh, this button and you can see here is a configuration and you will find uh, this can campaign app and this option there are many options for this mobile phone and this is the connection information that is useful uh, this I have in input this is auto input the local network IP address 
and this is Wi-Fi SSID and your password, and you can set. And this is internal IP, that can change. This is internal IP now is as seen as the external IP. So you can set the internal IP address in your local network and set a domain name in future so that you can use a domain name, a remote country home assistant. So that use the internal IP when you mobile in your home and auto change to remote uh, country by the domain name uh, by your mobile phone. That will auto smart change the LAN. So that use the local network and use the remote country at the same time by the mobile phone. So this will be very useful. I will make the video toy in in future. That can use DDNS function can uh, use for the remote country outside of your house. And this is the device name. Uh, we can we have created uh, this is my phone. And this is the sensor. Uh, you can see uh, this is the sensor. The sensor is very useful. We can click manage the sensor, and you will find uh, now the default all sensor is disabled. That all sensor is uh, for your mobile phone. This this is mobile phone sensor. You can see I can click this button and to enable the sensor. And you will see as uh, the battery, the battery temperature, and all information, and the location location sensor. Uh, the location sensor also is important so that you can see your location in Home Assistant map. That is all enabled. Uh, this is loca location sensor. And you can see I can, when I enabled and press back, and uh, you will find in your Home Assistant application, you can see I can press the configuration and uh, uh, this one device. And you will find this is my phone I have created uh, for my Android phone. And press this one device. Uh, now you can see all the information of your mobile phone uh, listed on the Home Assistant. Uh, that is very useful. And also go on, we can see uh, that is the location sensor. And so that you can click the map. And you will see uh, this is the home you have created. And this is the people. That is King Kony uh, you have created. Uh, that the uh, track track the device is my phone, so that you will see uh, the King Kony, uh, the user in in the map uh, and uh, for the tracking the map. Okay, this is the location. Now let's look at the notification. That also is very useful uh, because this uh, notification is based on the. Google Play service. So your mobile phone must support the Google Play service. That can send a message. Uh, 500 message can be used for every day. So we can go to this setting. And you will find uh, this is a notification. notification. And this you can see uh, every day uh, 500 this is 500, uh, I think it's enough to use and the notification channel and press this, edit. And you need to enable your notification. Uh, just the lock the screen or the banner. I can choose uh, both and the back. And the back. And this have an option as a persistent connection that you, you need to change. This is never, we need to choose the always uh, so that uh, your mobile phone uh, always connect with the uh, home assistant. So we can back. And now we can test the notification. Let's look at the PC uh, and the development toy. Develop toy. And you can see uh, this service that we need to call service. We can, because this I have used, we can input notif notify dot mobile. That you can see, uh, notify mobile application my phone. So that you can edit a message. Uh, uh, we can, this is King Kony. So this is the message and the title. If you want the message, have a title. You can see. Uh, this is the title, and now we can click the call service.
OK, you can see here is the Home Assistant message. Hello, this is Ken Kony. So this we can receive the notification. So you can click uh, Hello to and click Call Service again. OK, uh, you can see uh, this is Hello to. OK, this is how to use the notification. And there are many new uh, features uh, like and not only send the message for the test, but also you can send the multimedia message. And then you can use this message to country mobile phone and also support country by Apple Watch. Okay, in future lessons, we will tell you how to use many more functions. Okay, thanks for watching.